good morning all so in last class we were uh, looking at forming generating functions so in today's class we'll start with a few more examples of uh, get obtaining the generating function so the first example is so let a r b the number of ways of distributing are identical objects into n distinct boxes then let us look at the generating function so then the generating function for ar is okay so here we are having n distinct boxes and we need to look at the number of ways of distributing r identical objects so namak identical objects aanu thannittullathu we need to distribute that among n boxes so any number of objects can go to each of the n boxes so namak number of objects etra aanu restriction thannittulla ore box ilum empty aano non empty aano nothing is given so uh, each box can contain either zero object one object two object so on. okay so therefore uh, if you take the box one box one can have uh, zero object so that is denoted by the coefficient of x raised to zero adu uh, vale uh, it can have um, one object so you will have the coefficient uh, you will have x then two objects x square then x cube Uh, plus etc. So that is for box one. So in uh, box two also we can have any number of objects: zero object, one object, two objects, so on. So that is represented by one x uh, x square x cube plus etc. So this is for uh, box two. So same in the case of box n also, uh, determine generating function will be one plus x square x square plus x cube plus etc. So that is for uh, box. n so therefore this will be uh, equal to now this is the expansion for 1 by 1 minus x so we will get 1 by 1 minus x uh, whole raised to n so that is 1 by 1 minus x so bar n uh, now uh, this has the uh, uh, this is equal to summation r equal to 0 to infinity n plus r minus 1 c r x bar so the number of ways of distributing uh, r identical objects to n distinct boxes will be so we have seen this uh, combination so that is n plus r minus 1 pi so that is the uh, required generating function so therefore here ar will be n plus r minus 1 pi and now uh, let us uh, look at the distribution layer Uh, there is uh, restriction involved uh, so uh, let us look at the second example so let ar be uh, the number of ways of distributing r identical objects into n distinct boxes such that no box is empty uh, so here ar is the number of ways of distributing r identical objects uh, into n distinct boxes such that no box is empty so nammal previous problem thile there is no restriction on the number of objects in each box so that is a box empty uh, now in this problem uh, the boxes must be not empty appo nammal generating function ezhudumbo here this one uh, will not be 
there. So, 1 represents uh, that there can be 0 objects. We have at least one object. Random. So, uh, each in each box, your function will start from x plus x square plus x cube uh, plus etc. So, that is the uh, difference. So, since a box must hold at least one object. The corresponding generative function for each box is so that will be x plus x square plus x cube plus etc. And hence generating function for AR is so that will be equal to x plus x square plus x cube plus etc. Now whole power n rim. So that will be equal to so we will have x into 1 plus x plus x square plus etc. Now whole power n so that is x power n by 1 minus x and raised to n. So that will be equal to x power n ne, uh, x raised to uh, 1 by uh, 1 minus x whole power n has the expansion. Uh, so that is summation i equal to 0 to infinity i plus n minus 1, c i verum, x bar i. So that is equal to summation i equal to 0 to infinity, i plus n minus 1, c i, x raised to i plus n. So uh, here, if i varies from 0 to infinity. So let me take r equal to r equal to n plus i medica. So r will vary from n to infinity and now n plus i will become r. So you will get r minus 1 now i is r minus n c uh, x bar r or r minus 1 c r minus n that is also equal to r minus 1 c r minus 1 minus r minus n with him. Uh, n c r is equal to n c n minus r so we will get r minus 1 c so, the R cancel out um, n minus 1. So, that is summation R equal to n to infinity. R minus 1, C n minus 1, x bar R. So, we have seen uh, this in the first model. A number of ways of distributing R identical objects to n distinct boxes as well as Box is empty. You know, the combination of the conditions are so here AR will be uh, equal to R minus 1 C N minus 1. So therefore, the generative function AR will be uh, equal to 0 when R is less than N. R is less than N. So, uh, L R box is non-empty. That is the number of objects the number of boxes in the number of boxes. So, if R is less than N, if number of objects are less than the number of boxes, so such a distribution is not possible. So, in that case, the generating function will have the value 0. So, it will be 0 when R is less than N and it will be R minus 1, C N minus 1 when R is greater than or equal to N. So, that is the value of AR when you have the condition that uh, the boxes are not empty. And let us look at another example. Uh, so each of the 
e boys tosses a die once find the number of ways for them to get a total of hot each of the three boys tosses a die once now we need to find the number of ways for them to get a total of 40 from munnu pere dice throw cheyyanda so we will be getting uh, three uh, values corresponding to the first boy you will get a value the second boy you will get another value the third boy you will get a value so we need to find the number of ways such that um, the sum is equal to 40 when you take uh, the numbers on the die so the sum must be equal to 40. Me, uh, when uh, one of the boy is throwing a die, so there are uh, six possible outcomes on the die. So that will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now, the generating function is 1 appears on the die, we will represent it by x. So 2 appears, we are going to represent it by uh, x square, then x cube for 3 and x raised to uh, 6 for um, 6. Now, um, for, uh, for corresponding to the case of the first boy, so the uh, part in the generating function will be x plus x square plus x cube plus x raised to 6. So, now, uh, we need to find the number of ways in which uh, the sum is 16. Uh, sum is 40. Now, if the sum is 40, then we extend the power of 14. Because uh, each power corresponds to the number that appears on the die. So, if you have to get a sum of 14, so we need to look for the coefficient of uh, x bar 14. So, the required value will be uh, the coefficient of uh, x raised to 14. So, let us uh, write that. So let AR uh, be the number of ways to get a total of R and since the outcomes of tossing a die are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 6 the generating function of AR is x plus x square plus x cube plus x raised to 4 plus x raised to 5 plus x raised to 6 whole cube theorem so that will be equal to uh, x cube into 1 plus x plus x square plus uh, x raised to 5 Me, 1 plus x plus x square plus etc x raised to 5 will be 1 minus x raised to 6 by 1 minus x by this is the sum of finite geometric series uh, now this will be equal to x cube uh, into 1 minus x raised to 6 whole cube uh, 1 by 1 minus x whole cube over m cube into 1 minus x raised to 6 into expansion into m then series will be 1 by 1 minus x whole cube will be summation r equal to 0 to infinity n plus r minus 1 c n minus 1 and number kill them x power r so this simplify chain of the number and you can get them in the number kid in the coefficient of x power 14 and then so uh, with a 3 x cube into x power 11 the coefficient the verum. so uh, corresponding coefficient will be uh, 2 plus 11 c2 and the whole x power 9 into x raised to 5 in the coefficient that it will be so that will give minus 3 uh, 2 plus 5 c2 so upon simplifying uh, the required value will be 13 c2 minus 3 7 c2